On February 5th, the world's best returns to the ring. Three division champ Claressa Shields battles undefeated number one ranked Emma Cozy. Plus, Chris Eubank Jr. versus Liam Williams. Saturday, February 5th, streamed live on Fight.tv and PPV.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome. We got a great bout coming up for you. Costa Zoo. It's a WBC number two rated super lightweight contender. Diablos Hurtado, the number BC five rated contender. Nick the Greek, along with Cal Ehlers. And I'll tell you what, Nick, uh, it's going to be a good one. What this figures to be a terrific just, hey, card. Nick, just looking at the records, it looks like a good one tonight. That's right. Zool has a 21 and 1. 21 and 1 record here, 16 KOs going against Hurtado, a Cuban born fighter, 28 and 1, 19 KOs. And you know he's got Duva in this corner. What does that what does that mean to this fighter? Well, you got a couple of good corners on both sides. I mean, it means a lot to each of these guys. They're well represented. They both have a good future in front of them. We're looking for a for a terrific fight tonight, and it's a pick 'em type of fight, Cal. It's a it's a pick 'em type of fight, but are we gonna see some strategy early on in the uh, first, second round, maybe? a little bit of low punching uh, body punching as opposed to the knockout type of fight. Well I think Zool is going to come right at him. I think he's going to come out with a, with a vengeance and try to try to show some superiority early. These guys like to get out there and, and mark their territory. What do you think uh, is, is, is a favorite here. Uh, I, I, you know you look at both fighters and what they've done so far and uh, Hurtado. It's, it's a, Supposedly, Hurtado likes to go out uh, strong early and then lay off a little bit in the in mid rounds if he's lasting that long. And apparently, he has with the 28 and 1 record with 19 KOs. So, do you look for the strategy here, Nick, for him to go out early and go after him and then lay back a little bit? I look for him to do whatever comes to him. He's going to go out there and take a look, and, and whatever style comes at him, he's going to try and adjust to it early. And with that adjustment, then he's going to try to to uh, force the fight. And, and and neither fighter here should take a step backwards. You know, from what I've heard from uh, the fight people out here, and uh, you know, maybe prior to our fight tonight, it's going to be a good one. But they don't look as power to be the key to either one of these fighters. So uh, there's obviously some other strategy involved here. Well, the records for both of these fighters are, are good records as far as KOs are concerned. When you have 21 wins, 16 of them by KO, that, that does show a lot of power for Zool. And on the other end of it, you got 19 KOs, so they do have power, but when they, you know, as you come up the ladder, Cal, and you fight tougher fights, the knockouts don't come as easy as they do in those earlier ones when you're building your record. In this case, though, uh, both guys have the potential to knock each other out. And of course, uh, that that would catapult them into a later, uh, uh, bigger fight. Obviously, a key fight for both fighters in their career. A win tonight here will propel them to, you know, another big fight. Okay, I think we're going to go up to the ring here. We're going to take a look at the tail of the tape coming up. 29 years old, 26 years old, 5'6", mm. 5'11". Five, five, There's a big difference. The height advantage for Hatano could be a big difference. And it's a seven-inch reach for Hatano too. So that that if he can utilize his jab, and then the rules of this fight, Cal, there's no standing eight count. There's uh, three knockdown rules into effect. The referee can, or the doctor can stop the fight here. And this fight cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the last round. Even though we're in California, that's an international rule. Cal. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't know if that's an advantage for either fighter, but they both look pretty fired up as we're heading into this bout tonight. It'll be a 12-round WBC title fight. We're looking forward to it, and they're both pumped up pretty well tonight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to Fantasy Springs Casino here in Indio, California, where tonight America presents, in association with your undisputed, undefeated King of Beers, Budweiser. This Bud's for you. Championship Boxing for Your Entertainment, sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission and the World Boxing Council. WBC supervisor ringside for this bout is Bobby Lee. Along with America Presents, this first bout is brought to you in association with Main Events and Team Freedom. And now, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Intergym Super. Bout 
lightweight championship bout. The winner of this bout will be a mandatory opponent for the vacant world championship. The three judges assigned scoring this contest are Hank Ellis Peru, Anik Hong Kong Kam, and Terry Smith. And when the bell rings, working in his 113th, pardon me, ladies and gentlemen, the referee of this bout is Dr. James Jen Kin. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red, white, and blue, weighing 139 and one quarter pounds, he has a professional record of 28 victories, 19 by knockout with only one defeat. He's a native of Cuba who now fights out of Miami, Florida for Team Freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, rank number five in the world. Introducing the Obelis Hurtado. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black and weighing 139 pounds. As a professional, he has a record of 21 victories, 17 by knockout with only one loss and one draw. Originally from Cerro, Russia, he now fights out of Sydney, Australia, ranked number two in the world, presenting the former junior welterweight world champion, Hucha Gentlemen, obey my command. Let's go. All right, here we go, Cal. We look for a good one tonight, Nick. This should be a battle from the start, and here they go. And we got Drew on his velvet black shorts. Comes out punching right away with a quick left, a quick right. And as we figured, Cal, they're going to mix it up early here. You can see there's a nice height advantage with Otado. He's, a, he's a bigger fighter with a bigger reach. And they get into a little clinch right now. And if, he, if he's able to utilize that reach, uh, he could probably hold him off for, uh, for a good part of this fight and find a good strategy. Anyway, the early going is a little bit easy right now. Exactly. It seems like... Uh, Throwing each other out, obviously, as fighters do in the first couple of rounds. They're both okay. And the Tano gets in the nail on her right. And a solid right. And Hernando goes down. He grabbed the rope to try and stay up, but it was a definite knockdown. He took two shots to the chin immediately. Zul is standing flat-footed, ready to come out him. Here he comes. Close again. touch, and here he comes with a quick left and a right. And down goes Zul. Zul goes down. down goes Zul. It was more of a trip or a slip, but it's counted a knockdown. So he's taking a mandatory eight count. In the first 30 seconds of the fight, both fighters have been down. That's what you want to see or hear. I'll tell you what. Both fighters aggressive. Here they go again, Nick. And Cal, you know, I'll tell you what, Zul is very flat-footed. There's no, there's no footwork in this man. Right now, he just wants to get in and get the job done. And down goes Zul again. Second time down. He's taking an eight count standing. This is something, what a Cal. Surprise, Nick. I'll well, tell you we what. figured they'd come toe to toe, but we didn't see. We didn't figure three knockdowns in the first minute and minute and a half. Right now, they're both just looking at each other it's like a stop. 104 left in the first round. Three knockdowns. Now Tom is backing up. Jewel is coming forward. And now they're clinching, and there's a solid infighting here. Referee steps between them. And here they go again. It was a left by both fighters that put the other fighter down twice, Nick. And he takes another, Zul takes another left, and Zul shoots a right. Now a right and a left in our corner. He's right up above us. Hurtado's a little wobbly, but he tries to come back. He does come back with a left and a right. And they're clinching again, and the referee breaks him up once again. And here we go, Cal, with some solid action. Oh, both fighters trade left, left hooks. Zul is standing there just 
trying to give it all the power he has. Right here in the corner above us, Zul with the left, Cordalo with the right knee, he throws it down. down. That was That's a throw not down. a knockdown. That was that a throwdown, throw Nick. Throwdown count, it was not a knockdown. 10 seconds left in the round, will they survive this Three round? Left. Both fighters, straight punches, and there's the bell. What a round. And I'll there's right the now. bell, a solid first round. The fans are a little beer. They're a little irritated. The beer comes into the ring. Let's let's. I'll tell you what. The fans love it, and they should. We're gonna we're gonna hear what's going on. But he's got to find his way. He's got to jab. He's got to move. There's the Rippon, and Hurtado is going down with that right and a oh. solid left. It, Another next, knockdown Zool coming, up, coming up next. Now here's Zul going down. He ate that right knuckle sandwich. Now here comes Zul's second knockdown, Cal. You see it there, and a oh, solid a left, left, a left right, hurt him and twice. And a right knocked him down. Wow, three knockdowns. How many ready. times did you see that in the first round? Not try? very often, oh, Cal. Boy. Both fighters are up. We're ready to go with round number two. Here we go for round number two. Already swelling underneath the eye of Zoo. Underneath the right eye, Nick. Right, right. Big Rattel, swelling. Rattel looks like he's going to try and, and finesse him a little bit. He looks like he's going to try and box more in this as he as he throws his jab. He's using his footwork and he's bouncing around. Zool, in the meantime, is constantly stalking. Throws a solid right to the body. Zool throws another right to the body. And a left to the face. Zul is definitely forcing this fight. Ricardo seems to be back at it. a little bit nervous here. He's backing up. He's trying to stay out of harm's way. Big puff underneath the right eye. Of Zul. Big puff. It's not bothering him, obviously. Nick. He's ready. He, he, he wants to he wants to put him away early. He obviously is not afraid of Ricardo. You would think you would think Ricardo would go after that right eye. And, and that's exactly what he did, Cal. He threw a quick right to the to the right eye, and he's trying to stay back and, and get a jab in. He clinches right now. Both aggressive this round, but not nearly as aggressive as the first round. And the referee had warned him about you know, clinching. And, and right now, Zul is sitting there again trying to force the action, looking for Good luck. Takes a left. Zul is he's got him, he's got a dollar in the corner. I'll tell you what, Nick, they're not using much of the ring, that's for sure. It's the it's it's the corners and the ropes right now. Referee splits him up again, Cal. And left only, misses. There's only one direction that Jewel knows, and that is forward. Obviously, we saw him in the first round, Nick. They were very aggressive. Both fighters very aggressive. Slowed down a little bit, although the strategy may have changed. Constantly on the attack. He's just focused totally. His, his eyes are set right on, on the head of Ricardo. And Ricardo's kind of by keeping the jab in his belly on his face. And he's just staying busy. And that's what he needs to do against here. Yeah, that was a good left and right by Ricardo. Both aggressive, still very aggressive. Great, great fight. Good left, good straight left by Zero. They're coming over in this corner above us. A lot of determination here, Cal. A couple of body punches, Nick. Right, that hit, one that missed. And here you go, Zul is certainly just on a straightforward action. It's amazing that that these fighters don't go down a little bit earlier because they're taking some pretty good shots here, Cal. And there's another one, a solid roundhouse left hook, a right that missed by a cargo, and now the clinch, they spin around, and Zul is 10 seconds left in this round now, and Zul is stalking. Vitalo throws a quick left, another quick left, and a right to follow it up. Glancing blows, and that's the end of the round, Cal. What do you think the strategy was that changed from the first round, Nick? They obviously came on both aggressive, very aggressive in the first round. In the, in the second round, a little more uh, feeling out the opponent, although both got very aggressive in the last 30 seconds. Well, what happened there, Cal, is, is Hurtado fought a little bit smarter in the second round. Zul was continually going for him and was staying aggressive. Okay, here's a replay now. Let's take a look at this, Cal. You see him in that clinch, and a solid oh, left by Otavo. And there's a, they're, they're in the clinching. Yeah. 
But at this point in time, they're, they're both a little bit frustrated. They're trying to get off, but, but you're going to see him coming up here. It's a possibility they can't be tired yet. Second oh, no, round. No, no, Although they expended so much energy in that first round, could it be a possibility we're going to see some, uh, yeah, no, like, like we were talking about this morning, no, 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 not only uh, yeah, under the right, but yeah. left and right. That may have an effect if this fight goes seven, right. eight, nine minutes. Here we go, anyway. round three. All right, Jules starts continuing with the uh, with the same attack that he's had, and uh, Ricardo is uh, making his move around the track. He's trying to jab and use some footwork. There's no footwork with Zul, none at all. I mean, he's standing, just standing, standing flat still. Yep. as can be, trying to muster up all his power. And he's walking past, and he's getting it right now. Quick left and a quick right. He follows him into the left corner. The camera is. And these guys are clinching the rough. They're, they're not shy. Off. No, they're not shy at all. There he is. Yeah. A little talking here coming out of the Oh, yeah. Arrow. And a, a left that reaches. So we're seeing uh, we're seeing that aggressive style of Zool. And a quick exchange here. Both fighters got one in there. Uh, it a looks right like, and a right that missed by Zool. It looks like Hotaba a little bit is uh, uh, going after the eyes of uh, Zool right now. That's where he's concentrating on it. That could hurt him in the long run. Oh, yeah, possibly could, but if you got one of them, you, you want to take any advantage you can in this particular fight. There's a, a left by Zul and a roundhouse right by Otago. You don't have too much effect on this, but you can still see the strategy by Zul. He keeps pressing his head. You can see the strategy, but a little bit of settling down by both more defensive than they were offensive in the first two rounds. Sway the judges. Not a lot of connection here. They're looking, they're no feeling each other up. And that uh, was a good, good left. left. The great left. left. Kind of came back with the great left. So, oh, this is a fairly even fight, Cal. Hey, hey, you think hey. so? Even after the first round? Now. Well, the first round was even from the standpoint that both fighters went down. I'll tell you, if you're in our position looking at the two, Ricardo right now has got the best of it. Well, I don't know exactly if he does have the best of it. I think that Jewel, by the fact that he's a uh, the aggressor is getting at him. There he goes right, right now. Yep. He's coming coming at him, and, and, and he has absolutely no fear. He's putting in some solid hard punches. He just wants to get the job done. you got to get the he, feeling his corner, Zoo's corner said, get your butt in gear and let's go. That's right. He's walking through. He's walking right through. Right. And that's, uh, 
And, and you know, that's pretty difficult to combat. But you know, when he does that, he might just walk into a left. because these guys are working right. so hard. Now there's a left that he looks, he looks, he looks, he looks to me like Zoo is really looking for the left. Looking for the left to catch it. Yeah, that's a good Watch point. him right now. He's a good power punch that he has. Yep. That left is a strong left. Punch it, it out, punch in. it out. It's like a semi-hook, if I could call it that, because he, he doesn't bring it around. He brings it between his jab and the hook. There it is. Now that was more of a solid jab right there by Zoo. It looks to me like Zeus Corner said, hey, mix up your punches a little bit more. It looks that way. A good right. Yep. Yep. Right. Yep. 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 Either termination or uh, you know, desperation. <laughs> okay. There you go. And I'll tell you what, I think those punches are very good. as far as the fighters go, but as far as the punching to the head goes, I think it has slowed down a little bit. They've, uh, each corner has probably said, Nick, let's go to the body a little bit more. And, and to this point, at least, I, th I, I would have to say that uh, Zoo is uh, definitely got it on uh, her tile at this point. On the boy, on the boy. On the inside, he's got an upper cut on the inside. He's a little bit frustrated that he can't get off a little bit sooner. Maybe he's talking to get out his there. trainer there. Dead, but, dead, dead, but, uh, dead. He's taking some inside. instructions, and he seems to be calm, but he's not in his head. Look, he's to Lou Duba a little bit. Him. All good to to he, he says, uh, you know, let's get going. What are you doing? And, uh, yeah, easy to say. Easy You're to not say out there that. fighting. <laughs> well, there's the start of the first round, Kevin. Okay. Zul's right back on the attack, right back in the corner of all this. They spent a lot of, a lot of time over this. Yeah. Yeah. Good right hand by Zul. Yeah. And another right hand, glancing off of his chin, a left right, and right, right below his nose, opening up. Another left that lands, another left and a solid right. Zul seems to be taking charge right now. It, it seems like they've told him, let's go, this is your round, let's do it now. And I'll tell you what, he's got his hands up high, so he, it's hard for him to get hit back. So it's kind of another solid left, straight left to the face. And a, and a right to the side of the cheek. They exchange left there, Cal. And a solid right, a solid left by Zoo. Both exchange blows there. Right About three connected out of the five or six, Nick, I'm sorry. And there we are, a solid left and a good shot, a good right shot, another solid left. Zul is taking charge, Cal. Another left to the face of Vidal. Zul is keeping it at him. Left and right. Another right, solid right, left. Another good left. Stinging left jabs right now. 
stinging leg jab. He's keeping it in his face. He's looking for an opening oh, for that right again. hand. Left, left, left. I'm telling you, that's a, that's a boxer's best friend. And he can keep that left in, in his opponent's face. Run back, run back. A little short uppercut. Rodino's going to be wondering, what can I do now? He's trying to back away, but that's not doing the job either. Yeah, now, right now, he's not, he's not coming back. So he's giving him six, seven jabs or punches without getting anything on track. Just solid left hook to the to the liver here. Here comes the first one down right here. You see how he body got body in that hit. He just he just sinks down. Here comes the second one now, Cal. That's that body shot again in the same spot. Right over there. Right there. 235. 235. Up the right. It was a good fight. It was a great fight. Went. Zool, Zool just had too much power for Donald. It was uh, it, it catapults him now. It's going to be bigger things for him in the future. And, and didn't it start out that way, though? I mean, uh, with Zoo coming at him, and then, uh, you know, he, he tried to come back. Makala tried to come back. Or Tato tried to come back. And he did knock him down in the first round. But after that, it seemed like uh, Zoo. I, I think if we're talking power between the two, That's you have true. to go with Zoo. Even though, yeah, absolutely. Even though both fighters went down in the first round, uh, they, they, when Zoo went down, it was more of a slip. They were going to get. We're going to get a replay now of the first round that we were talking about with these knockouts. Right. Now watch this here. You see? Body. Now, now that was a yeah. solid knockdown there. There was no doubt about that knockdown. It was now a we're, combination now of we're the gonna body get the hit. second one here. And the same thing. Almost the same thing there. And again, now see, those were, those were solid shots. There. Now, now on the other side, oh, we're going go to we're gonna go to the ring. I'll tell you what, it shows why he's the number two rated super lightweight contender. A combination did it in twice tonight. And he's smiling. Okay. We're going to go to Michael Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at two minutes, 35 seconds of round number five. The winner, and now WBC interim super lightweight world title holder, Kostya Tsu. Full now, the cheers are going here, Cal. I mean, I'll tell you what, this was no a surprise. Terrific fright night. That's no surprise, right. but I'll tell you what, uh, from the get go, this fight never let up. No. Okay, we're going to go to replay now, Cal. We're going to we're going to take a look at some of the action in this fight. This was uh, this was quite a night for Zul. Well, you know, Zul, I think anticipated knocking him out earlier, but uh, as we will see here, they exchanged some good punches. <laughs> Body, body, head, body, down early. Well, see, this is, and now we're going to see it again here, Cal, the second time around. But watch, it's a shot to the same place, the same place in the left midsection there, and he just right. took the, he just took the steam right out of him. No shots really hurt. <laughs> I gave you one the other day, remember? Yeah, that? I remember that one. <laughs> and you're still sitting. <laughs> It was, it was it was a great bout. I it mean, uh, I, I think all the fans came to see, uh, came to ex came okay, to see Larry this. Merchant's gonna Larry Merchant's got to work. Thank you, Jim. Congratulations, Kasu. You have another belt. But in that first round, after you belted him, he belted you back. Were you shocked? It's a stupid thing for me. I remember I told in the press conference that I'm rushing always too much. I'm from Russia. I'm rushing too much. 
and I have to come down myself, don't rush, because he's a great puncher. And the split second I forgot about but it. But you, you thought you could end the fight right then and there, and you came in wide open. Yeah, probably this way. And who knows what's happened in the first round in my mind. But now I've got a belt. This is the more important. Were you surprised that Hurtado stand and fought, stood and fought with you rather than running from you? It doesn't matter if you have to run. You have to stop to punch. And it doesn't matter. We'll wait for this opportunity for the whole night. Still, if you can't run and punch same time. And uh, when he stops, he has to punch. have to fight me. And uh, I'm waiting for this opportunity. Or, like this, you just put it in front of me in the fourth. All right. Next, you're mandated to have to fight Miguel Angel Gonzalez. Yes. And would you then fight, if you win that fight, a rematch with Vince Phillips? We'll see. We'll see. First of all, this one is meant to defense, of course, against uh, Gonzalez. It's, uh, I mean, I, I, I'd love to fight Phillips. I'd love to fight Phillips. For him, it's going to be a great opportunity because I've got one belt, he's got another belt, and which belongs to me. And uh, Which used to belong to you. Used to belong, exactly right. But I believe in a condition like today, I'll uh, gonna be, show the great fight. Just one last thing. Your eye began to puff up in the very first minute yeah. of the first round. Were you aware of it and aware of the danger of it? It's a scratch. And I'm the, I'm the man. I'm the boxer. I don't care about this kind of thing. Oh, look, look good right now. <laughs> and uh, to be world champion without scratch is probably not fair. And I'm very proud to back home with a belt with a little bit of scratching. And, uh, with so you're saying, you're saying that that Mouse under your eye is a badge of honor. Oh, it's an enjoyable, enjoyable part of b world champion. Thank you very much, Kasia. Jim? Thank you. All right, Nick, there you have it. I just, like you said, I'm Russian and I was Russian. And it looked like that in the first round. Yeah. No, it's true. It, it looked like in the first round or two, he was uh, maybe going out of his element a little bit and rushing the fight too much. And when he knew he might have time against Hurtado to win this fight, well, but he tried to end it early. Well, as it showed out, he had a lot of confidence. Zul knew that. He knew he was doing good, and we had a really good night watching him. It was a great time. Katya Su wins. On February 5th, the world's best returns to the ring. Three division champ Claressa Shields battles undefeated number one ranked Emma Cozy. Plus, Chris Eubank Jr. versus Liam Williams. Saturday, February 5th, streamed live on Fight.tv and PPV.com.